Hello everyone, I'm in the Julian Alps in Slovenia and I'm photographing the weather which is fantastic for my taste. Wherever I go it seems that fog follows me. But here is where I end with pronouncing the names because it's a hard time for me pronouncing the names in this country. I do apologize, I'm just enjoying the landscape over here which is absolutely phenomenal, absolutely spectacular. These mountains are basically kind of the same with Dolomites. I really like the look of the rocks, the shape of the mountain, how, how impressive they are. And because of the rain from last night, I knew for sure that this morning it's gonna be fog. I knew also that it's not gonna be a visible sunrise because of the clouds. But nevertheless, I'm here at 7 a.m. Uh, I was also in the area at 6 a.m. and tried to capture these morning feelings because in the morning, as I told you many times before, there's a certain serenity to the nature, there's a certain calmness. It's a certain feeling that you can't get in any other moment of the day. It's the way you look at me Just as you're falling asleep Like it's already a dream It's the way you held me near The first shot that I'm gonna take is gonna be with all these small towers of rocks and the landscape behind. Let me kind of show you the feeling of the image. These small towers are basically your mark on the mountain. You come here, you take some stones and you make a short tower in memory of you being here on the mountain and it's the less destructive thing that you can do so don't write on the trees don't write on the rocks <laughs> don't do any kind of, any other kind of signs it's a really beautiful thing to see all these towers all these little towers because you even though it's a small number it, it looks impressive, it looks interesting, it looks beautiful and it kind of shows you how many people come here and that is why I decided to take the shot and framing these small towers of stone together with the landscape behind I tried to create a connection between these two elements as some technical details I stay at one-fifth of a second f11 ISO 100 and I also used two ND graduated filters of three stops and two stops because I wanted a much more dramatic sky. Because in the upper part of the mountain I saw that there was heavy fog, I decided to stay here in this place for a couple more minutes and at some point the mountain really <laughs> rewarded me. I mean something, something that looks almost like a miracle happened. There was a gap in the clouds and the sun just filled the entire area with with its light and the fog looked like on fire but most of all there was a place where there was a beam of light hitting the mountain it it was like it it's almost unreal <laughs> it's, I, I can't wait to get home and look at the photo on the computer but it almost looks like like it's it's something that would not happen it's Photoshop <laughs> it's this again reminds me why I'm here on this heavy fog because you never know when there's gonna be a break in the clouds and there's gonna be a beautiful light uh, on the entire place, so there is no such thing as bad moments to do landscape photography. Right now, because the sun has risen above the edges, above the peaks, and its warmth, its surrounding the entire valley the fog is starting to surround me so all the moisture from the ground lifts up now I don't know if I'm gonna be able to top that shot with the beam light and those moments when the sun fill up the the, the valley but I, I will have to try I'll have to do my best and for this moment I'll have to get that shot out of my head because if I don't do that 
it's a possibility that none of the shots that I'm going to see today are going to matter. So I, ha I have to disconnect from that shot. So that is why I'm also going to end this vlog over here. And I will tell you that patience and perseverance, being there, whatever the, whatever the weather, no matter the fog, the rain, the, 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 the moments that are basically telling you to stay inside, those are the moments that prove to me again and again that you should be out there in the mountain photograph and if you decide to support me even more you can buy one of my editing courses the link is in the description of this video until next time keep on photographing because it's the only way that you can get better and keep on going out there thanks everyone bye